Hi guys, 18 Dap here and welcome to this episode of Comment of the Week. Let's get the video started. So guys, it's a quick Comment of the Week episode this week. And the comment comes from Donny, all the gear but no idea, Steve. And this was put on the Doncaster vs Coventry match day blog. Um, and Steve says... I thought we were dreadful in the first half, improved in the second, but I really don't see what Darren sees in Ennis. His first touch is just about as bad as I've seen in a striker. He can't seem to get his feet organised at all, so falls over a lot. He can't hold the ball up either, so it ends up just coming straight back at us. So I've highlighted this comment because I agree with quite a bit of it, um, and there's other bits that... I won't say I don't agree with, but I think it's a little harsh. Um, we'll take it section. We'll take it bit by bit. <laughs> so first section. Um, I thought we were dreadful in the first half. Improved in the second. Got to agree with you there, Steve. We were very very poor in the first half. And then I think the second half the performance level was there, but just lacking in creativity. Um, didn't produce half as much as what we needed to. Um, I don't think we tested Morosi enough uh, I think he had one save to make and that was it the whole game and as Rovers fans we know what Morose is like with his handling can't fault him as a keeper uh, he was a very good keeper when he played for the Rovers but I think when he's tested he has the tendency to flap and we just didn't test him enough on Saturday um, in terms of what Darren sees in Ennis I agree with parts of this and I don't agree with other parts uh, as I said earlier in the video the reason why I think he's a little harsh is I don't think Ennis is a target man. I don't think he's a lone striker. Um, I don't think he's made for that role. I think he needs a strike, a strike partner. So to be super critical of Ennis, I think he's a little harsh. Um, but his performances have not been great. Uh, as Steve says, first touch is poor. He does look disorganised. He looks a little bit like Bambi on ice sometimes. Um, and he doesn't hold the ball up, but I, purely, I think that's just because he's not designed to be that target man, that lone striker. I think if we saw somebody up top with him, who was that target man, was that person to hit the ball to, to hold it up or to knock it on, Ennis would be the guy to run onto those knock-ons. Um, I think we'd see a much better player. Um, so yeah, a, a little harsh to kind of dig at Ennis so much, but... Who have we got to put up there with him at the minute? We haven't really got anybody. I'd like to see Max Waters given an opportunity. Potentially, he he could be the one holding it up or knocking it on. Um, in fairness, I'd like to see, for, for all the sticky he got, Kwame Thomas and Ennis put together. I think Kwame had been able to get the knock-ons. We've got Bingham. He's more of a wide man. Um, but I honestly think if we get a target man up there with Ennis we would see a very different player um, but that's down to the board it's down to Darren to get these players in hopefully we do by the end of January but thank you for that comment as I said agree with the most the majority of it um, but a little harsh on Ennis I think I'm going to leave that video here um, if you've enjoyed it this week big thumbs up for us please comments in the section down below Subscribe if you haven't already and as always thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.